Welcome back to RC Jets USA. As I promised you guys earlier in my other video, today I'm going to review all three jets that you can see here from different manufacturers. They are 90mm jets that I have been flying for a while now and they are very good actually uh, compared to most of the jets in the market. What I'm going to do today is to give a brief introduction of each jet and show you uh, what they are capable of by showing you a couple of videos and sharing my knowledge and expertise uh, having flying these jets for a while now. Okay, let's start with uh, Stinger 90 from Freemium. Uh, it is a gorgeous jet. And I have been flying this for about uh, two to three years now. Um, I have the spec here. You know, if I uh, recall, if you buy this jet right now uh, from the marketplace, you will get 90 millimeter EDF, but with nine blades. So what I have here is actually 12 blades ducted system, and also ESC is totally different. When I bought it, I bought it as a kit, so I did not have electronics, so I put my own. So I'm going to show you a clip, and uh, remember that it is not exact spec that when you buy right now. So the motor that I have installed in this jet, that you're going to see how it performs, is 950 kV. So if you buy from the market, it will be 1900 kV. So that's the difference. Other than that, the ESC also uh, you have the Spectrum Smart ESC. Uh, not a fan of that. The most cool thing about this particular jet compared to all three, it has a very bright landing gear uh, fog light, the front light. So you can see it from far away. So I can't say the same thing with any of my other jets because this is significantly brighter. So you can see it far. I did not notice how useful that is until I flew this jet that when you go near a mountain as you can see in my video clips it's very noticeable it's very significant and you can uh, align to the runway very easily when you can see the light so it's kind of important to me now after realizing how important it is when you're landing. The flying characteristics of this jet is exactly but similar to any other jets here. So I do not see any significant differences, uh, but uh, you can see it for yourself. Let's go to the clip and see what it is capable of. Now that you have seen the video clip and the performance of Stinger 90 from Freewing, let's move on to the next jet. The next jet that I'm going to talk about is Viper from E-Flight, uh, which is actually significantly improved jet and um, it's really fairly good. Um, so I have been flying this jet for a long time now. 
and uh, I have seen people uh, flying and doing all the aerobatics with this jet comfortably, uh, even uh, beginners. Uh, just before I go to the video, I just want to explain that I have seen uh, this jet uh, being crashed by um, experts, like the people who can fly very well. The reason being like uh, when you take a U-turn, um, and uh, since you can fly this jet extremely slow and however when you try to turn and uh, take a curl um, you tend to uh, assume that it's capable of uh, turning at the same speed so I have seen people going down uh, with you know kind of uh, in an angle uh, because of that so you have to be watchful and careful with any particular jet when you are turning uh, uh, to give enough throttle. So I have seen enough video clips, people are crashing due to that reason. Other than that, it's fairly good jet. Let's look at the video and then you can judge uh, by yourself. So our next jet in line is FMS Scorpion 90mm jet, this guy. So I actually have been flying this jet for a while now, uh, longer than any of the other jets. I really like the way it performs uh, and, and uh, exceptionally uh, strong form, so strong build and detail. And, uh, just to give you a comparison uh, of the landing gear, uh, the landing gear is same as the Viper from e -Fly. So they have actually adapted whatever uh, from FMS to uh, this particular jet. So if you are looking for parts, uh, you can buy parts from this jet when it comes to landing gear and it will be equivalent to whatever in wiper uh, if like so it's the same basically same gear uh, so that is uh, significantly uh, like cross match between these two jets um, let's look at the video and then I'll show you a comparison of all three jets and then I'll give you my opinion what I think is the best and value for money uh, for a 90 millimeter jet
19.9 volts, flight pack 19.9 volts, flight pack 19.9 volts, flight pack 19.9 volts, flight pack 20.0 volts, flaps up. Could you have seen the performance of all three jets? You have an idea, all three are kind of similar uh, when you do uh, aerobatics and uh, the speed and everything, so it's quite similar. Uh, I'm just going to show you another clip that I uh, felt uh, really not good uh, when it's come to uh, Viper uh, from in flight. Uh, the issue with the ESC. Uh, first time when I flew the jet, uh, I burned my ESC and also the motor while flying. Uh, by the way, I have landed all three jets without power. Uh, for whatever the reason, sometimes because of low battery, sometimes these two, Stigger and uh, Viper, cut power to the motor because it has a Spectrum Smart ESC. Uh, so I have done that. I would say more than 10 times successfully, so that's why it's here. Um, so yeah, you, you can land uh, without power, uh, so that's, it depends on where you are at that point, um, but I have done that multiple times. I'm going to show you a clip uh, what Spectrum Smart ESC does to this jet. So I believe first time when I lost one of my motors on Viper, it actually burned as I saw the smoke coming out. It was because the ESC is uh, controlling the power in a way that it cuts the power and again give the power kind of on and off, on and off. So I'm going to show you this clip and you can uh, hear the noise coming from the jet uh, when it cuts the power and then switch it on constantly. So it is not good for the motor and I mean for any motor. So I do not know why ESC does that. Uh, it's a smart ESC. It's not going to protect the motor anyway. So let's look at the video, then I explain what you can do to avoid that situation. Twenty seconds. <laughs> Flight pack nineteen point eight volts. Gear down. Landing. Once you start hearing that noise coming from the motor on and off, on and off kind of thing, uh, the next thing that is going to happen is it's going to cut the power to the motor. That is what happened to me a couple of times. Uh, so in order to avoid that, uh, what you can do is uh, once you bind the ESC to your Spectrum remote, if the remote is capable of programming, you can scroll down to the extreme right of the menu screen, um, then you can program the ESC not to cut the power. So as you can see on the screen now, I have shown you two screens, how to get to that uh, option uh, in the remote and then disable that option. Now if you need more information, how to get to the remote and how to enable, uh, uh, disable uh, these options, uh, let me know uh, so that I can give you more information. There are a couple of videos explaining that from Spectrum uh, very clearly, so I think they are pretty good. Uh, but if you need more information, let me know. Uh, so that will prevent damage to the motor and also cutting the power to the motor. I really do not think it's a smart thing to cut the power to the motor. And I don't mind draining the motor or the battery and save the jet uh, and without losing the power uh, and crash it. So it's not going to save anything basically, it can damage the motor, it can damage the ESC, depending on where you are at that point. So uh, I'd rather switch it off and uh, take a risk and replace the motor if that burns for some reason, uh, rather than crashing my whole jet and also damage the ESC depending on the impact uh, when you crash. I'm going to show you another clip what happened if you try to land at a certain speed than usual. So, as you have already seen my videos of landing and taking off these jets, uh, as uh, all three jets have uh, flaps, 
So it can significantly reduce the speed when you are landing. So it's very comfortable to land. But if in case, because of the crosswind and other things, if you come at a speed, then uh, what you require, uh, you might get into a situation like what I'm going to show you now. So these jets are, are really kind of bouncy. That means if you hit the front wheel, it's going to kick back. So it's going to bounce. So I had experience with these two, uh, you know, sometimes uh, due to other reasons. So we come at a speed than necessary. So at, at that time, it will bounce. But you can recover, it's not a big thing, but uh, there's a tendency that you might damage your front wheel. Uh, let's look at those clip and try to avoid them uh, because you can land these three jets uh, fairly uh, decently uh, with a slow speed without cutting the throttle and you don't need to come faster unless there's a significant crosswind or something like that. you can go to their site um, so we can get them uh, so I have shown you a chart on the screen right now um, I have highlighted few things significant differences uh, of uh, each other it's not good or bad it's just what is significantly different from each other so the overall size wise uh, uh, e-flight wiper is the the biggest because of the length uh, width of the wing but uh, but I would say even though it says that if you see the width of the wing uh, FMS uh, Super Scorpion is kind of bigger so the lightest uh, jet out of all three is the Stinger 90 so with the batteries and everything uh, this uh, shows significant lower weight than any other jet. The uh, FMS is the, the heaviest because of the form uh, and also two uh, vertical stabilizers. Um, so I have done battery compartment size wise. Uh, you can fit in uh, like six, seven uh, thousand uh, milliampere hour batteries to these two jets, Viper and Scorpion, but Stinger 90 millimeter has very uh, narrow battery compartment so that you are a bit restricted uh, of uh, your battery choices so it's kind of smaller if your uh, quality and the paint so as you can see in the screen so they are very good in scorpion and also stinger uh, wiper has four minute which is kind of i don't like so even my jet here the underneath everything i painted in blue because i did not like the four four me look um, so they have done a better job on that, uh, but I like the FMS, it is really nicely painted. So I, I credit for that, for FMS. Uh, gliding capability, all three jets are similar as you could see in my videos, but uh, I have said uh, Stinger 90mm is better because it has a, a bit of a smaller size when it's come to um, uh, wingspan. So uh, taking off everything is easy and you know, so the next uh, highlight is the ESC. So Avian 130A Smart um, ESC from E-Flight. I do not like it at all. So I have uh, that in both the Jets, Stinger 90 and uh, Viper from your flight, but I really don't like them. So I personally cannot recommend that uh, for the price. And uh, speed wise, uh, I think all three jets are similar. It's about 120 miles per hour, uh, but I gave a little bit of less speed on this because if you are buying, you will get a uh, uh, nine blade fan that might reduce the torque a little bit. Um, so that's the only reason. So 
it's not much. Uh, when you are buying, uh, receiver is included only with the wiper, but others are not. So it, they are ready, but they are not coming with the wiper. So it's a little bit expensive in that uh, that sense. So there are no gyros, but uh, with the wiper you get the uh, spectrum gyro built in. Uh, so I don't use it. I have my own gyros in all three. I have S3 gyro. Um, so that those are the ones I'm using. I'm not using uh, spectrum gyro. Uh, main wing removal. So uh, for FMS it's very easy. For example, if I can show you. So there's a jack here. So it's very easy to plug, plug in. But uh, uh, Stinger is kind of difficult because you have to go by the go by the label individually. Even the wiper has uh, three plugs, three jacks going in. Uh, a bit of a difficult than FMS. So not bad, but uh, I would go with FMS in uh, FMS has better quality uh, play and plug and play. So the price wise, the, the next key point, uh, the cost of PAP as you can see in the chart, uh, the, the most expensive one is the E-Flight Wiper, $650 uh, compared to $460 of uh, Stinger uh, 90. So FMS is about $500, kind of in between. Uh, so the best but uh, I, I think that if I have a budget to buy a 90 millimeter jet, I would go with FMS Scorpion because it has all the features like any other jet. It's not as soft as Stinger or problems, electronic problems what I had with Wiper. So I would go with FMS Scorpion. I never ever had a problem with this jet. Uh, ever like for last four or five years. So from RCJF USA perspective, I recommend you to spend money on this than the other two because you don't have to worry about uh, not having parts and things like that. So even though it's heavy, look uh, uh, bigger and um, kind of scary when you see it for the first time, but but no, it's it's really good if you think that you can fly. The other two jets, um, just to uh, you know, if this Stinger is only fifty dollars less, so uh, I mean, this is a better option for you and value for money. So that is um, our recommendation from uh, flying these three jets, uh, like what you have seen on videos. So if you are planning to buy a ninety millimeter jet. These are high performance 90 millimeter jets, so you can pick any one of them. So as I recommended, you can pick and choose depending on what you need. Um, that's all about these three jets. Um, I hope that helps you to determine of your next 90 millimeter jet. So if this video has helped you in any way, just give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.